Hey there, I have got to clean this pantry out behind me before my groceries arrive. I ordered a big grocery order this morning because I need a major restock here. Um, I have kind of let things go too long in the in the grocery department at least. And I, like I said, I really need a big restock because we really just have kind of been just getting by with whatever I can come up with at the end of the day. And that is not a good system for me. A good system for me is to have some sort of a plan in place because if not, by the end of the day, I do not care what we eat. And it's um, pretty pitiful what we have been eating. I don't even know what we've been eating. We've just been kind of making it work. So I ordered today a bunch of meat and, oh gosh, all kinds of things. But I need to get this cleaned out a little bit before anything arrives because uh, it is a royal mess in here. So let's get started. A mess. Some stuff like this, I can't even eat this anymore. So a few things, well, maybe more than a few things, I'm gonna put into bags and give to my son because he just moved into a new place and he got rid of a bunch of, you know, junk from his cabinets, uh, pantry cabinets when he moved. So a lot of this stuff I can give to him. It's still good and everything, but it's just not things that I'm cooking and eating anymore. March 6, into this grocery haul. I got stuff sitting over there that's not part of the grocery haul, but this is stuff here. Got some tater tots here. Um, these ones are actually made with corn flour instead of wheat flour. So these are gluten-free. I can actually have those, which I love tater tots. Sugar snap uh, stir fry, and we have been loving that lately. We've had it probably once a week for a couple few weeks now. And I just do some thin beef or chicken or whatever I have on hand and make a stir fry with that. It's really good. And broccoli florets, this is just frozen veg seasoning blend. This is just easy to throw into things when you need it. So I do like to have some of that on here on hand. The California style vegetables with broccoli, carrots, and uh, cauliflower. This one is the green beans. We like these from time to time. I do them in the air fryer. Garlic Parmesan green beans, they're pretty good. The creamer I've been using recently. This is my most favorite of all time uh, Chick-fil-A <laughs> salad dressing. And I use it for all kinds of things. When I make a wrap, when I make a salad, uh, dipping, who knows what. I just love it. It's so good. But it's hard to get it because um, it's usually sold out at my one Walmart. Um, some milk in order to make some yogurt for the dogs. This is just uh, napkins because we were out of them. I have not bought food storage containers in years probably especially not plastic ones. I have a bunch of glass ones, but sometimes it is nice to have a disposable one or one you can give to somebody else. And I have zero right now, but we typically were using ones that I would buy for the farmer's market, like deli containers. I would put uh, chicken salad and stuff in them, but I have not been buying those because we have not been going to the farmer's market in the past couple of months. So I needed something that was a little bit more disposable to use for storage containers. And then some freezer bags because still there's lots of things coming in from the garden and some things have to go into the freezer 
that's just the facts because I do not have enough time to deal with every single thing right now. This is just um, like household things. Yep, you know what those are, antacids. Sometimes we have to have those. Witch Hazel I got for one of my dogs, Zeus. He has a toe that has a little bit of fungus on the nail. So I'm gonna start treating it with this and see how that goes. Mr. Clean, this is one of my favorite ones. The one that is Unstoppables or they have a gain one, gain scent also. I needed some more uh, stain remover. That OxyClean one works pretty good. And then now let's just get into the actual regular groceries over here. Waterloo, this is this one's pretty good for the summer. It's just a different flavor that they have. Shell peanuts, uh, Alan loves to have those from time to time for a little snacky. Y'all don't mind my little poor sad chair that gets banged on the table all the time. This Simply Peach is just too good for words, so we love to have it to mix into tea and things like that. Dried cranberries just because I wanted some. This one is so good, the gluten-free cornbread mix. And what I wanna do with that this week is make a corn casserole. I also got uh, the family side, the checks because I wanna make the no-bake uh, peanut butter bars. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. They're just no-bake bars that you can make with checks, and those are so nice to have on hand. So we'll start back here with the meat, I guess, on this table because I got a bunch of meat to stock up for now. So I got this. This is three packs of ground beef. Um, and just, you know, you just have to have some ground meat on hand sometimes. And I'm just basically out. I think I have one pound of ground meat left in my fridge right now. This one is just a thin steak. And we usually use these for doing like tacos or something. I'll just marinate it, throw it on the Blackstone and make tacos with that cube steak i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to use that yet but i'll come up with something um i just thought it sounded good maybe i'll do like a gravy steaks or something of that nature now on to the pork this is a little ham and alan loves to have this is a black forest ham it's already sliced and everything so like for dinner one night we'll have this with potatoes and another vegetable or something like that and then we'll have some leftover which Alan loves to eat for breakfast with some eggs or whatever he wants to put with it. This is two pieces of pork tenderloin and you guys if you see my other meal prep videos I love to do these cut down into little like one or two inch medallions put them into a freezer bag with some marinade on them and then just take them out and cook them whenever you're ready for them. Some Italian sausage because I want to make a spaghetti one night and I like to use Italian sausage in mine. These are the thin pork chops, which I'm going to use the this shake and bake on them. Um, again, that's already in my other meal prep videos, but Alan loves to take those out and put them in the air fryer, just individual pork chop for whenever he wants a snack or a quick lunch or something like that. So. We'll do those at some point. I, now I'm gonna do a meal prep video with all this meat and stuff, how exactly I portion it out for just the two of us, what I do with it to get it ready to make smaller meals since it is just the two of us most nights. So I will have that in another video. So y'all be sure and watch for that. Um, this is some ribeye chops, which I'll do pretty, pretty much the same thing that I'm doing with most of these big packs of meat. Cut them, not cut them down, but break them down into smaller portions like the ribeye chops, I'll probably do five and five, so that'll get us two meals out of those because we don't mind having them left over. If you if you want a smaller portion for a dinner, you probably could do three, three, four, or something like that um, into individual freezer bags and then put some marinade over them, store them away in the freezer until you're ready for them for that night's dinner. Same thing with the chicken breast. I will cut that down into some cutlets, like cut it in half lengthwise, put, put those into individual freezer bags with some marinade. The chicken thighs, the same thing. Chicken wings, I will cut these down into flats and drumettes and take off that little wing tip. And then I will put those into probably two different meals of wings because we really love to have wings for dinner some nights, so good. Okay, so on to, let's go to the middle here. This is just some snack bars. Um, Alan is on the road, you know, going out and visiting with customers and stuff during the day, most of the days. So he likes to take, you know, a few, a handful of small snack things with him as he drives around so he doesn't get too, too hungry and um, hangry between <laughs> meetings and things. 
some yogurt. This is to start the yogurt that I do in the Instant Pot. I have a thing of yogurt that's in my refrigerator right now that I'm using, but I think it's probably been contaminated, you know, by a dirty spoon. So I try to get a fresh one and only use very fresh yogurt that I haven't contaminated with anything else at all because you want your yogurt to turn out for you. So these are just some snack bars as well. This is like the um, breakfast cookies. Sometimes he'll take a couple of those. These are just another flavor. The sour cream that I have here is for a couple of things, just to have, of course, but also for the um, corn casserole that I want to make. So it, the corn casserole also needs cream style corn and whole kernel corn, which I've got now. And then the enchilada sauce, I just like to have a stock of it on hand. That way, whenever I'm ready to make some enchiladas with like chicken or with maybe ground beef or whatever, I'll have it. This is just some cottage cheese because that's nice to have on hand too. We have some uh, crushed pineapple in the pantry already and we like to put cottage cheese with pineapple just as a snack. These over here are something that I have been recently trying. So there's two different types of pouches here. Beans, uh, three different beans or four, and then the rest of them are individual rice pouches which is so nice especially when it's just two of you to have a small amount of rice um, and they cook up beautifully so they're kind of in a hunk and then you smush them around put them in the microwave for 90 seconds and heat it up and it's just like fresh rice see there's not a whole bunch of junk in there or anything like that it's just cooked rice in a pouch that you can heat up whenever you want it. So it's actually super nice. A couple of them are flavored. This cilantro lime one is probably my favorite one to have with taco night or whatever. This they substituted for one of the other ones. This says it's a cheesy Mexican rice, so it's probably delicious. We'll do it one night. Um, and then the other ones, as I said, are beans. So instead of canned beans, these are super nice too because you can just throw this pouch into the microwave. And as I said, there's not much junk in there. It's just beans, water, salt, calcium chloride, which is I'm sure like a something to keep it a little bit fresher. This one is a medley. And then this one is a baked beans because I like baked beans, but Alan really doesn't care for them. So this is enough for me to have like a serving and then I'll just eat the leftovers the next day. So it's pretty good. And then I bought a couple of things of cream cheese because when I make enchiladas, I like to do a chicken one with a little bit of cream cheese and with the meat. Some, a block of cheese. I already have a bunch of shredded cheese in my refrigerator, it looked like. So I just got a block just in case I want to have some sliced cheese. Um, salami. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but I love to have this on hand. I just need it. I need to have salami on hand, it seems like. So good to snack on when you just want something. I got a couple of things of sausage. I will freeze one of these and keep one out for probably this weekend. Usually I like to cook a sausage and sausage gravy or something on the weekends just to have something a little bit heartier for breakfast when we're home. Um, a few packs of marinade. So this is a Baja citrus. Oh, the other one is a taco, just taco seasoning. And then a stir fry mix, which I have been enjoying this too. When we do that snap piece stir fry. And then hummus, that's another thing that I just love to have on hand because it's great for snacking. And peach yogurt, Alan is loving this lately. We were on a cherry kick for a while, but now we're on to peach, he says. So I'm gonna move a few things out of the way here. Move the meat, all this meat needs to go in the fridge, but I'll be done here soon. This is a few different gluten-free things, uh, convenience items really. Um, honey grams, just something sweet that is gluten-free that is already done because sometimes you just have a sweet tooth. You know, you need like a little bit of something sweet. Okay, gluten-free spaghetti because as I said, one night I'm going to do spaghetti. These are so good. I don't care if you're gluten-free or not. They're actually delicious. They're sourdough. I, we had these last night for the very first time. I had them in a freezer for a long time. Finally, last night I made them. I made a buffalo chicken pizza on one and I made a barbecue chicken pizza on another one because we had the chicken left over already. So, um, but the crust was the star because the crust is super flavorful. So those are delicious. I'm gonna throw those in the freezer until we're ready to make some kind of pizza one night. Uh, I didn't buy many 
uh, things like produce or anything like that just because we didn't need it and also I'm doing kind of the rest of this stuff is mostly for like a stock up type of thing but I bought one of the Asian salad I have a couple bags of salad yet in the freezer I mean in the fridge these pita breads will freeze perfectly so we'll put them away for some kind of chicken that we do out of that other chicken these I have not tried but I'm sure they're good um, little little small baguettes that are gluten-free so i'm sure you put these in the oven and heat them up or something like that will be great on our spaghetti night or something of the sort just some fresh cilantro because my cilantro there's no way to grow cilantro here right now it's way too hot for that and then some bananas and that is it